do not waste your time and money make sure you watch until the end we will explain how to fix it right otherwise you will develop that burning oil smell again hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a dot charger if you guys have a dot charger and uh, you have a problem guys where you smell burning oil inside through the heater through the ac through the vent and uh, you don't always smell it but sometimes you do especially if you didn't drive the car for a long time you start it it warms up and then you start smelling it stay with us we'll explain the number one reason for that how to fix it because if you don't fix it the right way you will be doing the job one more time guys and there is no need to waste your time and money before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos on that dot charger we'll have even more why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos absolutely free and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for your dot charger or any car you want to get them at a good price and quick shipping you want to save money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and uh, we'll share where you can find even additional things so what we have specifically here guys this is a dot charger this is the 3.6 engine we'll demonstrate on but even if you have a v8 it will work as well we have the valve cover removed here on the first cylinder head on bank one bank two the second cylinder head is right here you can see that's the other valve cover now what can easily cause that smell oil smell guys okay there are a few things that can easily cause it but number one thing that you will notice guys will be failing valve cover gasket and you wonder why make sure to stand to the end we'll explain what two common mistakes people make when replacing it that will cause another oil leak again this is your valve cover upside down you can see in that canal right here that's where the valve cover gasket goes it's between the valve cover and the cylinder head right there so it prevents oil from coming out of the engine okay uh, from inside of the engine to the outside now that valve cover will be exposed to, to extreme heat and the gasket itself eventually will become not so flexible it will flatten it can even crack and they flatten and harden so much that sometimes you get them out in pieces okay this one has only 40,000 miles so it's not bad but uh, what can easily happen at that point the uh, oil will start dripping from the inside of the engine to the outside and that right here is your exhaust system so when you develop a leak it will eventually drip on the exhaust and it will start leaking that one developed it on this side as well you can see it's dripping on the ac compressor there okay that's the ac compressor and you can see how it's leaking from the top so on the right side we don't have so much room there to show you but that's where guys actually developed the leak okay and it drips on the exhaust and it smells other components that can cause that it could be the gasket for the uh, spark plugs right here and you can start sipping oil okay and that can cause the leak as well and drip on the exhaust multiple gaskets need to be replaced when you replace valve cover gasket the main gasket okay right here in the canal you have the spark plug gasket camshaft position sensor gasket and the two gaskets for the variable timing actuators as well another thing guys okay common mistake people make you can see where the timing cover guys okay where the timing cover meets the cylinder here that's two different metal parts meeting each other there is a kind of like an edge crease here you need to clean the whole area where the valve cover gasket will contact the cylinder head and the timing cover clean everything with rubbing alcohol clean off that old silicone apply new gasket maker high okay uh, high temp and high torque silicone and just put it guys okay here and here because otherwise if you don't even if you put a brand new gasket you start sipping oil here on the sides again we've seen that happen quite quite often one thing that can help you with that burning oil smell without replacing the gasket in some cases and quite often by the way could be that leaky moly additive motor oil saver it reduces oil consumption and oil leaks tremendously we use it multiple times it's amazing additive what it does it makes the um, gaskets actually flexible and when it does that they expand okay and uh, oil leaks will be minimized and in some cases fixed completely so i might go ahead and give it a try before tearing everything apart unless you have the time to do it then go ahead and replace the valve cover gasket we'll have the complete video on the channel that will teach you how to do that hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time